My guest tonight is a winner of the prestigious James Beard Award for Best Chef in the Midwest, and his new restaurant, Pirano, has everyone lining up for pasta. Please help me in welcoming Gerard Kraft. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having we are, me. We are chatting backstage. You have a, a lot going on right now. A little bit. Uh, a yeah. lot. A, a no. little bit. <laughs> yeah. Understatement. Um, all right. So originally you're kind of known for niche, right? Which uh, is an incredible restaurant. Uh, but now you're trying something new. Uh, I describe it as fast casual pasta. Is that is that a good descriptor for it? Yeah. Fast yeah. food. Fast food. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, call it what it is. Fast, fast food. food. Cool. All right. Yeah. Uh, so kind of Chipotle, maybe kind of style, where you kind of like get to, but you get to pick out uh, like what you really want on your pasta. Is that yeah. Right? So I mean, the idea is great ingredients uh, done really fast, and you can create all your own combos, or you know, we have a few picked out for you. I think that I read like somebody did the math on the combinations of like what you can pick out, like if you go there, and it's something like in like the hundreds of thousands yeah, of like, yeah, options crazy. if you want. I said it would um, take like 200 years or something to yeah to, to eat try it. all. But, like <laughs> to try every they broke it down into the years of eating pasta. I would like to see that person. It was impressive. Yeah. Um, then somebody said we didn't have enough options. So <laughs> <laughs> somebody <laughs> complained. There you go. I think it was like our first Yelp review or something what is like it? that. Doing yeah. the math really quick. <laughs> 100,000, you guys. I don't know. I'm going to come back. Um, well, all right. So, Pirano, obviously, it's a hit. I saw lines out the door uh, when it first opened. So, uh, like, with this model, is it something that you are hoping to maybe grow into something bigger with, like, additional locations? Yeah, you know, I, it's always the goal. It's you always know, the, the goal. The, 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 well, I mean, you know, with something like that, but. But I think we're going to wait to see if people like it. Right. You know, we talked about that. Maybe right, yeah, that'd yeah. be a good first step. Of course. Is, uh, yeah. Okay. That know? makes that makes a lot of sense. So let's let's see if this hits. Yeah. Which it seems to be, except for that one person who wanted except more that one options. person. So you know. Uh, yeah. No. So far, it's going really, really well. Um, you know, I I don't I don't have world takeover plans. Uh, you know, no? or anything like that, Why or like not? big venture capital or franchise. Everybody's eating and, pasta. Yeah. And nothing uh, else. You know, I'm scared of the whole franchise thing. Right, so sure. we want to make a good restaurant. We yeah. want to make fast food be known for something good. And I think, you know, over expansion of that too quick would be, uh, you know, the, the enemy of exactly what we're trying right, to do. So right, right, right. we'll take it easy. We're so as long slow. as it's still yeah. a good product and then maybe organically kind of grow up from there. Yeah. Cool. Exactly. Uh, well, how has it been so far opening this? It's only been a couple of weeks, maybe what a month or so. Yeah, like, it feels into like it. a yeah. year. It feels like <laughs> a year. Yeah. yeah so, how, no. is everything going pretty smoothly so far? You know, it, re it really has been, and uh, you know, every day it's gotten a little quicker and a little smoother. Mm -hmm. And I, I think the funnest thing about it is that that a lot of the guys uh, and and girls who are working with us uh, don't come from a cooking background necessarily, really? and so we're really getting to teach cooking. Yeah, and, so and you're a kind of like an institute, a culinary institute. Yeah, and, you know, I think that's something that's been really fun is, is teaching people about food and teaching people about uh, good food and yeah. how to cook it and how to do something, not just how to warm something right. up, but and they're going to take Learning that home skill. and, exactly, and then that yeah. expands and, and grows. And that's exactly, awesome. Yeah. Um, I, I heard you talk a lot about this or in the interviews that I listened to and read. Um, you chose downtown kind of specifically. It seems uh, almost that you're very passionate about the fact that you chose downtown as a spot in St. Louis. What, why is that so important to you? I mean, well, it, I mean, it first started, I've always wanted to go downtown mm -hmm. and especially in that location. And I was really happy when they finally redeveloped the the city center, which was, right. uh, you know, a the mall, totally the failed mall. Like, mall that, so yeah. you might be in an or Orange Julius space. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, so I was really excited to be in that space in particular and to do something right there. And, you know, a lot of people actually, it was really weird. Every time I talked about opening a restaurant downtown, people said that's the worst idea. Don't do it. I mean, seriously, I was like, why? <laughs> you know, like, yeah. what is so scary? Right. And, and it's been amazing, actually. Awesome. You know, I mean, like, Let's talk from a selfish standpoint. I mean, it's been really, really Good. busy. It's crazy busy. Yeah, I mean, like, again, I saw the lines out the door, and it's yeah. been, been great. Yeah, and hopefully, so, 
and continue to grow that. I'm loving downtown, yeah. and you know it's got the best architecture in all of, of uh, the all world. Of Saint Let's Louis. say the yeah, world. The world. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, it really is amazing. I mean, yeah. 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 Well, I'm glad that you chose downtown. Hopefully more will follow in your footsteps. Uh, we're going to go take a quick break. If you're watching online, stick around. We're going to talk a little bit more with Gerard. If you're watching on TV, next up is Khan. And my friend. <laughs>